What's up everyone? It's Zan here from the Toucan Zan Art Channel. Um, so I realized it had been a while since I had done a full process video where I showed you um, from start to finish like the under sketch and uh, the coloring process. So that's what today's going to be. It was a very simple little piece and I just I kind of needed to do something simple. Um, I've just been doing a lot of very involved pieces the last few speed paints and I was like let me just Take it back to basics, I, you probably saw that I started drawing one thing and then I completely switched and went in another direction. Um, I was like, I just want to draw a pretty girl. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing today. And uh, I've decided to call the piece Rose Gold because uh, she has kind of like a rose gold gradient to her hair and uh, a pretty foolproof way to get a good solid piece in a short amount of time is to take uh, whatever marker paper you like, take a cola erase pencil, do your under sketch really lightly, and then go in with Copic markers. So that's what we're doing today. It's a very simple piece and I hope that you all like it. I'm just doing the under sketch, as I said, with a blue cola erase pencil and uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, skin tones as far as using Copic markers, which is what I predominantly have. Um, so. How many of you guys know about the artist Lethal Chris? I hope a lot of you, and if you don't, you should definitely go check out his channels because, or his channel and his Instagram because he's very, very competent at understanding Copic markers. And you know, this is basically what I do. As I've mentioned before, I am not an art student. I have never gone to school for art. So the way that I have learned how to create things is predominantly through tutorials that I find on YouTube. And Lethal Chris is masterful at uh, showing his process and explaining exactly what colors he uses. So, he has like this magic recipe for Caucasian skin tones that just looks great no matter what. And that is, you can see I'm playing with it right now, it is pinkish white, then light grape, no, the pale grape, and then light grape. Um, for this piece, I really wanted to keep a light and airy feel, and I didn't want to try and do like a super realistic portrait. So I just used the pinkish white and the pale grape. And then what Lethal Chris usually likes to do is he will warm it up with uh, the pale heath color. And uh, just real quick, a good habit to form when you are coloring your pieces or skin tones is to lay down your base color, which in this case is pinkish white, and then to go in with your shadows, which in this case is, uh, I think it's pale grape and then go back once you put your shadow down go back over with the pinkish white because that blends everything out really nicely um, so I started with the pinkish white went in with pale grape and then I started adding warmth with uh, pale heath on various portions I just did her nipples with the pale heath and for her blush I used R20 which is the blush color um, Sorry, I lost my train of thought, but we're back. Okay, so let's talk skin tones. So there's one thing that I have just noticed and learned from my observations of various artists and painters uh, over the past month or so, and that is that um, I think the difference between people who create interesting characters really amazingly and kind of just okay is their ability to craft a semi-realistic skin tone and I have learned that a realistic skin tone is a combination of a bunch of colors it's not just like the pinkish white and that's it you know it's not just tan and that's it it's not just brown and that's it that's not gonna make your character look interesting every single human being on this planet has these undertones in their skin tones and I probably have talked about this a little bit before now um, but it's really important I think for uh, younger artists out there and anyone who may be watching this if you are doing characters unless you're like going for a super saturated uh, stylistic look with like crazy colors I highly recommend that you like spend some time looking at various different um, very different races of people because you'll notice that everyone has like pink undertones or they have olive undertones which makes them more green or they have blue undertones or like purple undertones some people have like more orangey colors and adding these colors into your skin palette will really bring out the 
dynamicism, that's a word, the dynamicism of your skin. Um, or you could, you know, you could just stick with one color and kind of build that color up. But I think that this is a really good way to kind of make your character look a little bit more realistic, even if you're going for a stylized, cartoony look. So what I'm doing right now is I'm actually moving into the finishing touches of this piece. Um, I've laid down all my colors the way I want, and I took, I, I put them away, unfortunately, when I did my 500 followers piece. But I took like this really pretty. Uh, Ooh, can I read what that says? I cannot. It's like a turquoise. Um, so I went in her hair color is the base is YR30, which is macadamia nut in the Copic marker. And then to start doing the rose gold gradient, I moved into YR000, which is silk. And then to uh, finish out the gradient, I used the R20 in blush for Copic markers. And then I took the cola race and I started to line her skin a little bit darker. So the next thing I did uh, was I took a couple of pinks which were uh, like a bright pink and a more of a magenta pink and I defined her lips and her nipples and uh, I took just a regular old ballpoint pen and I did her eyelashes and I gave her uh, a couple of details in her nostrils and I took the Unibal Signo in white and I gave her skin some uh, highlights and that was it that was pretty much the entire process for today um, so I think generally a good rule of thumb to make a nice quick easy pretty piece line with cola race put your base colors down with copic markers and then add details with uh, a cola race any kind of color pencil you want and uh, that usually ends up being a pretty decent piece um, so thank you for joining me today for day 27 of 30 and I will see you back here tomorrow for or maybe not Monday I might have to wait until Tuesday um, but we're coming to the end of the challenge here so please like comment subscribe send me your email if you would like an invitation to my store opening and I will see you in the next video so have a fantastic Sunday bye